I jumped in, more or less, knowing nothing. When I filmed this, I was working on knowledge gained while watching a tutorial stoned the week prior. That being said, I'll explain what I did, what worked, what didn't, and what I ended up doing differently. With practice, I figured out what I did wrong and will bring those things up accordingly. First, I want to apologize. This is a learning opportunity for me. I'm not thrilled with the angle or setup in general. This is also my first practice using the special effects kit featured. I've always been fascinated and disturbed by the noses, or lack thereof, in Animal Crossing. I've always interpreted their design as having a concave gap where their noses should be. To me, it looks like their noses have fallen off. This concept is what I will be basing this look on. I put spirit gum on the area I'll be building up. While that becomes tacky, I used oil to help my hands and tools to not stick to the wax. This is the oil that came in the kit, and I didn't feel like it helped blend the product that well. After the fact, I learned that Vaseline does the job better. After sticking on the wax, I blended it with my tools. I didn't add enough at first, and then added too much, but less ends up being more. After blending, lift the edges of the new flesh to give more contrast between the wax and the nose that isn't supposed to be there. Lean on the tools helps keep it from sticking and ripping. I have a theory on why none of the humans in Animal Crossing have noses. I think the settlements are leper colonies. Animals cannot catch leprosy except for armadillos. I cannot recall in other games, but in Pocket Camp, there are no armadillos in the game. See? Way too much wax. In addition to not having noses, it seems as though the human characters are missing their fingers, save for their thumbs, and may possibly be missing toes as well. What happens in the course of the untreated disease is that the bacteria damages nerves and destroys their ability to feel, especially in the extremities. Over time, sufferers may injure their fingers or toes and not feel the extent of their injuries. Extremities that have been damaged sufficiently may auto-amputate. While noses generally do not fall off, other deformities may occur. I did not know this prior to fact gathering, but I stand by my theory. Five hours later. It makes sense that in a village of animals who cannot use tools meant for human hands, and humans who can no longer use their hands to the same capacity they used to be able to, that adaptive tools and technologies would be the norm to bridge the gap between the accessibility issues of the humans and their animal neighbors. Second go around, I used way too much wax. I also applied it in a wishbone type shape, but found later on that a log for each side works better. In the cosplay version later in this video, I opted to pinch the logs into prisms which worked the best for this application. I'd like to revisit this look when my skills have improved. The wax placed under the nose has the potential to give this project even more dimension. The tutorial I watched said absolutely nothing about sealing the wax with liquid latex, but you gotta do it. It's not going to stay on your face long without it. I ended up doing it for the cosplay, but not in this recording. If you're really hard up, you can use lash glue. The tutorial I watched encouraged painting the internal structures of the nose. 
painting an upward facing arrow gives the appearance of the septum cartilage and nasal bone. I decided that wasn't the type of wound I was looking to recreate, but still think it looks cool. Fortunately, as in real life, the affected villagers are discriminated against by the healthy village animals. In pocket camp, animals can marry, but people cannot. The wedding altar, released earlier this year, is a furniture item a human cannot even get on, despite appearing to be the appropriate size to use it, although it didn't stop me from forming a polythruple with my dear, dear wives. Excuse me, domestic partners. I don't think this is a society where bestiality is a taboo. The animals in question can speak whatever language the player does and appear to be of human intelligence. As weird as it is to think about, these issues of consent are the only moral issue on this topic. Nobody bats an eye at the interspecies couplings on Bojack Horseman. It is just a fact of life that humans and anthropomorphic animals live side by side and have lives and relationships that intertwine. However, it's possible that the legislation in the Animal Crossing universe has not caught up with the times. Regardless of whether the issue is one of disability or species, the laws in-game should change to allow for marriage equality. Got a little desperate here. The only powder I found was a pink shimmer blush. It was appropriate to seal my rosy cheeks for the final look, but not for sealing the wax. Later on, I found some baby powder, which looked much, much better. with red and alternating with black, layer paint onto the negative space of the nose. If you choose to leave the septum visible, don't be afraid to muddy the bony portions. Those tissues would be bloody, not a clean bone white. With a thin brush, fill the crevices with red and black. Dab to blend the paints. Don't forget to get the inside and underside of the nose. Those areas represent shadows, so these can be done just in black.
I was going for the just fell off look. So dab some blood on the edges and paint into the crevices. All right, ready to see the final look? Okay. Creepy cute. Not quite, but close enough, right? Yeah, you do. 